I've been using CBD products for my chronic pain. Today it's time to discuss the results. We've just received word from the fleet. They've engaged the Borg. Welcome to a special edition of Surfing the Pain. I am Joseph of Borg, and today we are going to be discussing the results of my trying CBD products for my chronic pain. I know you're all eager to hear how they worked for me and what effect they had on my pain, but first I want to tell you a little bit about what I thought of the products, and then we'll get to that. And stick around, because at the end of the video I'm going to tell you how you can get in on a CBD giveaway I'm doing. This video is the third of three, so if you haven't checked out the other two, I will put a clickable link up so that you can go ahead and pause this, go watch those, and come on back. I'd really encourage you to do that, especially episode two is full of information. For those of you who have been following this series, I want to apologize that it took me so long to get this completed, but we've had some crazy weather here in Las Vegas over the last month, including some snow. And I wanted to wait for my pain to get back to basically its normal baseline before I went ahead and tried the CBD products so I could really give an accurate report on how they worked for me. These are the CBD drops. I really was impressed with these. Um, I did do the test for myself and they do dissipate in water. Uh, unlike some of the stuff I bought when the dispensaries first opened here in Las Vegas that just floated in an oily glob on the top. I found the taste to be a lot more pleasant than any other CBD product I've tried. Also, I want to note, it doesn't have a greasy, oily mouthfeel. Other products I've tried for CBD oils, once you take them, and I preferred to take it just putting it under my tongue rather than in a drink, your mouth just feels oily and greasy, and uh, it was just generally unpleasant with other products. This didn't have that, so I figured that was a big, big improvement over other CBD drops that I had tried. Here's the gel caps. There's really not much to say about gel caps. I mean, if you've seen one gel cap, you've pretty much seen them all. I uh, took two a day. That gave me, there's 30 in a bottle, so that gave me 15 day supply. I wanted to give it at least two weeks to really see if I benefited from it or not. This is their salve. And I've really got to say, I was impressed with this in a lot of different ways. It really has a pleasant scent. Um, I would say it's kind of a citrus uh, scent. My wife commented on how pleasant it smelled. Huge improvement over other products I've tried from the dispensaries. It's just not got that oily, greasy feel on your skin. It absorbs really well. Um, in all these products I wanted to mention, I really want to comment about the packaging and everything from this company, uh, which is Live Labs. Um, they really do a nice job with the packaging of the product that shows that they take some pride and some care in their product, which in turn shows that they really have some pride and concern uh, for their customers. One of the things that really impressed me about this company is that they have a medical advisory board. In fact, if you haven't seen episode two, I'll put up a link. You might want to pause this and go check that out. I got to interview a pharmacist with, I believe it was 20 plus years of experience who's on their medical board. And that episode is full of really excellent information. If you are thinking about CBD products to try them out, I would definitely encourage you to check out episode two. I also want to take a minute and give a shout out to Mindy Rosen who made all of this possible. I really can't say enough about how she's gone above and beyond the call of duty to get me these products for free so I could test them. Uh, and she knew up front I was only going to tell you guys the truth because I feel that's my duty and my obligation. Since Mindy went out of her way to get me these products, I figured I'd give her a minute to come on and say hello. So without further ado, uh, I want to introduce you guys to Mindy. Mindy, why don't you come on here and uh, tell these guys a little bit about your basic condition. Thank you for having me, Joseph. I really appreciate you and I appreciate everything that you're doing to help this community to become educated uh, in 
every condition. I will tell you that uh, this is my second go around with a spinal cord stimulator. And based on the knowledge of this group and the education that you gave me, I was fully prepared to go in for my second surgery and have my stimulator placed. And um, it created a feeling of not being overwhelmed and going in and knowing what to expect. So I just want to say thank you and that I really appreciate you and all of uh, the feedback that I got from the group. The group oh. is... No, thank really you so one much. Of the best groups on uh, line that I found to educate myself and also, in turn, to be able to ask questions to my um, neurosurgeon and to the orthopedist that did my uh, spinal cord surgery. Well, thank you. It touches me a lot. My my wife teases me because there's mornings when she'll get up. She gets up later than I do. And we'll be having our coffee and talking about what's going on in the world. And uh, I'll I'll start telling her about somebody who's posted on on you know like spinal cord stimulator success stories or whatever or has sent me a message that hey I want to tell you how much you helped me. And some of them get into great detail. And and I choke up just telling you about. But yeah, she she kind of teases teases me a little bit because. I, I'll break down and cry sometimes because it's amazing to me how I've been given this opportunity and been blessed to have a chance to help people. And there's a certain irony to it because as my world has collapsed, as far as being able to get out and do stuff outside the house, digitally, I've been able to affect people in a much wider scope and much greater numbers than I ever could have imagined when I was healthy. Um, spinal cord stimulator success stories recently passed 2,000 members, um, and this one had this one had me crying the other day with my wife. Where um, the woman is, she told me she says my doctor told me to check out your group and your videos as a resource because she's looking at getting an implant. And I said, wow, that's pretty amazing. Uh, where do you see your doctor? What, what state are you? And she goes, actually, I'm in France. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, so that absolutely blows my mind. And I, and I, I really appreciate the kind words. It, it, it gives, I tell people all the time, you have to find something positive to do with your time. If you get stuck in the quagmire of the poor me or it's so-and-so's fault or, or, you know, what, it, you know, why me? You know, why do I, what did I do to deserve it? I personally don't believe we do things to get punished. I don't believe that's the way the world works or God works or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I, I really appreciate that because uh, it, it really gives me a reason to get out of bed and, and make videos and, and do what I do. So thanks so much. So um, You're welcome. You're making an impact. And you asked me the question in regards to my condition. So to give you and your audience a brief overview without going into too much detail, five years ago, I had originally slipped on uh, ice in front of um, uh, a hospital. I was a hospital specialty rep. And um, that started uh, the decline and the issues with my back. And then I had an incident that I fell backwards off my treadmill in my gym. And that was my demise. So that resulted in uh, my first surgery. I had a laminectomy that really didn't do anything. And then um, shortly after that, I had a fusion from uh, L4 down to S1 that um, fixed one problem and emulated the problem on the opposite side. So after that, I um, had, I want to say, probably upwards of... 60 or 70 different types of injections and ablations and all the different types of procedures that they throw at us. I call them the needle surgeries. Yes. To offer as uh, temporary solutions. They're not long-term um, fixes, but they're, I found in my experience that sometimes they would work for a few days. Sometimes in certain situations, they would last three months but they weren't um, something permanent that uh, was going to give me the opportunity to go forward and be uh, my best self. 
And I wanted something that um, was going to allow me to not continue to get up every morning and just live in that state that we all know of being in chronic pain. So two years ago, I had my first spinal cord stimulator put in. And unfortunately, the wires had migrated. So I had a revision. And then last year became very ill. And I don't want to go into great detail because I don't want to take up too much of your time. But unfortunately, the uh, center that it was done at uh, was not, um, they didn't take universal precautions. And six weeks later, I came down with MRSA. So I had a uh, emergency surgery and they had to take out my um, stimulator. And I want to say that that left me um, in the hospital for three weeks and then at home with a pick line for eight weeks. And of course, in the worst pain that I have experienced this, since this whole journey had begun, I was extremely weak. The mercy just took the life out of me. And I just wanted a solution. I didn't want to continue to have to take medicine around the clock. I just felt that I was numbed. And I mean, the pain was excruciating. Like I. Words can't even describe what I felt like on certain days. It wasn't uh, a level of one to 10. It was more a level of like 13 to 15 where I just wanted to pull the hair out of my head. And at that point, I you know, was just exploring all different options and I was open to finding a solution. And um, somebody came to me that really cared about me and had witnessed me going through everything I went through with uh, the spinal cord stimulator coming out and the MRSA and really had watched what I experienced. And they came and they shared CBD with me. And these products, the capsules, the tincture uh, oil, and the bomb have significantly impacted my life. And I now have a um, new stimulator in my back and with the utilization of the cbd products it has now given me my life back i feel that a big black cloud has been lifted off of me and it's just such an if it's an pure feeling to just for the first time in five years to really feel like me again you know is it perfect no I mean, am, am I pain, absolutely pain-free? No, but this is the closest I've ever been in five years. So, you know, thank you, Joseph, for allowing me to come on your show, on this video and share, you know, how um, these CBD products that contain no THC, absolutely 0.00, .00 THC have impacted my life. And if any of you are interested, Joseph is going to provide you with a link. Yeah, I'll put it up uh, up up as a card. Uh, I think I can do that, and I'll definitely put it in the <clears throat> excuse me in the description as well, so that you guys can get a hold of uh, Mindy uh, if you've got an interest in CBD products. Like I said, uh, I think these are you know compared to some of the stuff I've gotten from the dispensaries and tried. And uh, whatnot, it, it it just I'm really impressed with the overall quality of the product, I and mean, that could we could do a whole separate segment on just that topic. So I'll just wrap it up there before I launch off into a rant. So um, before I let you go, was there anything I didn't ask or that you didn't get a chance to say that you'd like to say before I, uh, we sign off? To your community, anybody that is interested, truly interested in these products, it's my passion to now gift other people and help people with the ability to um, take a look at these products and what I can do if you are interested, reach out to me. Joseph will provide a link. I am willing to, you know, reach back out to you. I'll provide you with my phone number. We can um, jump on a call and I can help you to get 20% off your first month and the second month I can actually help you get the products for free. So thank you again, Joseph. I appreciate you. And um, to anybody that's interested, reach out. Again, these products have no THC and they are the highest quality premium products that are on the marketplace.
All right. Well, thanks again, Randy, for your time today. And it's been great talking to you. And I'm sure I'll be talking to you again soon. Uh, again, guys, I'll be putting the link down in the description. Uh, if, you're, if you're interested in CBD, you want to talk about CBD with somebody who's actually had great results from it, uh, she's your girl. So with that, we'll wrap it up. Thanks for your time today, Mindy. You have a great day. I went into this project cautiously hopeful because my particular condition is not listed as being treatable with CBD, but I know CBD is exceptional for all kinds of inflammation. So I wanted to go ahead and give them a try anyway, because at this point I'd really be happy to try anything that might help me out. I don't want to have a closed mind. Unfortunately, Given that my major problem is my cervical nerves are being compressed by scar tissue which has been calcifying into bone, it makes my pain extremely difficult to treat. And unfortunately, these products weren't a huge help to me for that. However, I do want to comment that they did help me with some of my other problems. I would put the balm on my wrists and a little dab will do ya before I'd start typing. Now it's hard to really tell how much help they were to me or it was to me because my pain varies from day to day, but I feel like I was able to type longer with less discomfort um, when I use this balm. So that was definitely a improvement for me. So even though these products didn't make a huge difference for me, I think they really could for you. I encourage you to do some research. And again, if you're looking for some CBD products, I hope you'll check out Mindy's site. And I hope you'll give her a chance to earn your business. If you do, please do me a favor and tell her the Borg sent you. Lastly, before I go, there's this product called Slender Hemp. It's just... Uh, you can add it to a drink, you can add it to a little water, they're in the little packages that you know most people are familiar with for uh, any kind of drink mix for on the go. Um, I took, I tried one of them just to see how it tasted. My wife tried one but she just never got around to really doing them and I don't want to just throw them out after I was given them to try out. So I want to give these to one of my viewers. I will even pay the shipping. Um, it came with, it looks like 20 packs. So there should be 18 of them in here. If I get multiple people who are interested, I'll pick a winner on the 5th of May. That's one month from when I'm recording this. That should give it plenty of time for anybody who's serious about this to respond. So if you want to get your CBD product for free, absolutely free, no hook. All I ask is when you get it, grab your phone, shoot a quick video, let me know what you thought of it and how it works for you. Just email me at Joseph of Borg at gmail.com and I will put you in the drawing to get this free product. As always, I want to thank you for spending your time with me and checking out my video. And here come the links to my other channels. I hope if you have chronic pain issues, you can find some help there and I hope you'll check them out.